winter is coming. Long gone are those warm summer days at the jetty. Many anglers wrap it up for the year. The jetty goes from being shoulder to shoulder to nearly empty. Along with the changing season comes a change in tactics. As the temperature drops, fish tend to swim to deeper waters, which is why fishing the jetty during these cold months is so productive. The hardest obstacle to overcome is the weather. Winter fishing can be rewarding, but it's not without misery. Water gets much colder. A splash of water in the summer goes from refreshing to miserable in the winter. This is why many people do not like to fish these conditions, but I love them. I thrive in these conditions. What is going on, everybody? Here we are at the Surfside Jetty. I don't know if you can hear me right now because the wind is so bad. The waves are crashing over the jetty. But man, we are fishing some elite conditions out here. It is blowing about 20 to 25 out of the south. The waves are crashing over the jetty. Nobody's out here, but right now, we have a fish on the line right now. I don't know if you can see it, if you can't hear it. Now, if you want to see some elite content out here, if you want to see a fisherman catch big fish everywhere, click on the subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Now, watch this hook set. Here are some of the, my rough weather gear that I use out here. These are my Corker River Ops Carbide Spikes Boots. This is going to help me get grip on those slippery rocks. The jacket here is a Grunin's Bowie Gore-Tex jacket that's going to help me keep dry. Grunin's bibs also, which are going to use to keep me dry. The reels I'm taking out here, this is the Okuma Flight 12000. This is the Okuma Surf 8000. And here is the Okuma Rockaway 6000 all long cast spinning reel. Now I look out into the distance at the jetty to see how many people are out there. Man, it, it looks juicy out there. Look at those big waves. Hardly anybody out there, too. Here is something interesting. If you look to your left here, the wind is coming out of the southeast, so all the current and the waves are splashing on the left side, looking really rough. But if you look to the right here, the channel which is protected, it's nice and flat. It looks crazy, huh? So as always, what I do when I get to the tip of the jetty, I gotta walk to the very tip to check it out. And when you get to the tip, you get to experience the sheer power of the ocean breaking on these rocks. The tip here, I've seen many people, including myself, have lost a lot of fish here. So after we leave, we decided to speak to one of these fishermen here. I wanted to get a quick report. And he stated that uh, he hooked two bull reds, but couldn't land one. He lost one somewhere at the bottom of the jetty and then the second one he lost trying to bring it up over the rocks all right guys so here's the lure that we're going to be using right now this is a breakaway check it out we're going to cast out into the channel this is a clip down rig it's going to help us get way more distance because right here you got to get distance sometimes because the rocks are right there on the edge and if you catch right on the edge as soon as you start reeling in and you lift up you just might get snagged so this here is going to help us get more distance plus the wind is on our back if we put our back into it, I wouldn't be surprised if we could cast this right in the middle of the channel. <laughs> 375 yards. Check it out, y'all. Gonna have to elastic this too because it's really soft and old. There we go. We got nice. Look at that squeeze on there. Nothing's gonna take this one. Look. Eight ounces right there, guys. You see it says eight ounces right there. So we're gonna go to the tip with this big rod right here. Just in case something big comes through, we have the capacity to land it. All right. Got it. It's gnarly over there. Perfect. Look at that dom on it already. Baby. Hell yeah. We just got here too, man. That's bro. Man, it, the bait just hit the water. I didn't even get to sit it down. <laughs> man, that, that's your reward for beating out at the pass. Oh man, I know. After 20 pounds of seaweed. <laughs> I gotta get one out, man. <laughs> man, these guys on fire, bro. You deserve it for suffering at the pass. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this, this could be the best one so far. You think so? Has a little bit of weight to it. Yeah. <laughs> 
redfish. I got stuck on the first time. One fish gave me that much trouble. One little fish. <laughs> huh? Yeah, here. I'll go get it. Drum, black drum. Oh. It, it was stuck on something. I don't know what it was stuck on. I mean, look, it's all. Yeah, he was all up in the rocks. All up on something. Jeez, that is crazy. I wonder what it, I wonder what it was stuck on. I can't believe this much work for this little drum. This is Alright, check it out guys. Dora's in the lab. We finally got our fish that was stuck. Check it out. This is crazy. It was stuck on something. I don't know. The leader's all messed up right now, but check it out. Golden drum here during the golden hour. Beautiful fish. Do I don't like to eat these? I don't like to eat them either. It's just really sporty to catch. Check it out. It's about a 34, 35 inch drum, something like that. Not too big, not as big as the ones that we've been catching. We're hoping to catch reds, but this will do. Hopefully we get another hit. It's getting dark already though. Check it out, y'all. All right, let's let it go. Okay, mates, if any of you want to buy any products and you use this reference, look, BBF, and put a 10 beside it, right, we'll know that you're one of his people and you get 10% off. So make sure you use that reference. All you got to do in, in the memo on your order is just put that, BBF 10, and we'll knock the money off. You'll see your getting charged a full amount but that charge does not go through till we do it in the office and we'll when we see that we'll take 10% off the whole lot All cool right. uh, viewers appreciate that for sure that's good thank you alright guys look at this huge waves breaking right over the jetty wow it is blowing out here the conditions change really hard really fast too when we came out here it wasn't this dirty that wasn't this rough and just with a blink of an eye it goes from nice to this here love it love surfside jetty fishing especially when there's nobody out here when the conditions are bad and nobody's here this is where we thrive here we got a real big fit right here big crab eight on sweet we're gonna cast it to the middle of the channel really hard check out this cast right here
Hook up now. Far right, yes. Ah, whatever. It's not too bad. Oh, this was crap. I thought it was shad. That one was shad over there. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. Hey, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, Just got here too, like 10 minutes ago. We're already on. Love it. Perfect. Golden drum here at the jetty on crab. We had just cast out like 10 minutes ago. We're already on. Check it out, y'all. Amazing fish. I love catching these drum because they fight really hard. Once you get them close to the rocks, they start taking these crazy dives. Here we go, guys. Love it. Let's, let's put it back. Hell yeah, perfect. There's a fish on here. Yep. What is it? What is it? Another drum. God damn, how many of these am I gonna catch today? <laughs> it came off? Yeah, your, your cable's now doing it. He's, he's stuck in the rock with you. Oh, I'll get it. <laughs> That's okay, that little drum right there. That one that one had shed on there. Yeah, that was the one from yesterday. Yeah. That's the one that got stuck in the rocks. Look. Barely for any pressure on it. Yeah, it just frayed. <laughs> yeah.